Lessons are fun, engaging, can take the children anywhere that they want to go. Liberace's greatest hits have got me pulled. So you'll feel the muscles go whoo. So just go shh, shh, shh. No, that's up here. That was shh, shh. Down here, shh, shh, shh. Better. Okay, there's still a bit of a lift on the chest though. Okay, be careful. You don't have to carry an instrument around with you because it's it's there, it's in you. You haven't got to worry about a great big case or whacking anybody when you get on the bus with it. Music's one of those things that can be translated worldwide and it can bring everybody together. And especially with singing, everybody can sing. Every single child has a voice. And from early years, I mean, what's the first thing that you do? The first thing that I did when I was young, I had a granddad who was quite elderly. Um, he'd fought in World War I and World War II, and he sat me on his knee and he taught me all the songs from World War I and World War II. So by the time I was about two and a half, I had this whole little repertoire of songs. And I think that went a long way to actually train in my ear to be able to become a musician. Singing is a part of life. We all have the ability to do it. Music is within us all, and we all connect with music on an emotional level, and so music's important. As well as it developing their musical ear, it will help them with their listening skills. It will also help with attention. It will help with school readiness, with beat and with reading skills as well, um, because the beat and the rhyme and the rhythm and constructing sentences, the idea of a phrase in music when you sing, breathing at the end of a phrase is the same as breathing at the end of a sentence. It's the full stop at the end of the sentence. And breathe if they keep insisting. Remember that goes right up there, so it needs to be bright, otherwise it's going insisting and it'll come down your nose. Okay, so just be careful. It's really nice, like with the choirs and things like that, and the orchestra that you can get along with like minded people. Probably singing at the proms. We did Holst the Planets singing Neptune, and we went down to London on the bus just for the day. So we got on the bus at some stupid time in the morning. It was about half two, I think, and drove down to London, had a full rehearsal at the Royal Albert Hall, explored the not so glamorous dressing rooms at the Royal Albert Hall, which I was devastated at. Um, I remember seeing the poster on one of the, the poster boards in um, Kensington Gardens and seeing our names listed on there. And that was just super cool to see all members of the choir listed on this poster for the proms. And then we did the concert on the evening and it was just amazing. However, we didn't get to go on the stage. We were actually stood in a staircase because for Neptune, it needed to sound all mystical and echoey. So we were in a fire escape at the very top of the Royal Albert Hall. So again, not glamorous in the slightest. Um, we still had to wear our choir uniforms, which was I found always bizarre that we still needed to wear them, even though nobody ever saw us. Um, we had our photograph taken in the fire exit stairwell, got back on the bus and came home and got back off the bus at about half past two again the following morning. TVMS just offers so much to the young people in our area so you can get involved in any instrument that you want and it doesn't have to cost a fortune. There is group tuition, there's one-to-one -one tuition and then in terms of the ensembles. There are multiple choirs that offer singing for students from reception upwards. So we have Tees Valley Youth Training Choir which is a feeder into the youth choir which brings primary school children in and help them, helps them to start reading music and enjoy singing. And we also have separately the boys choir and the girls choir called uh, Tees Valley Youth Barbershop Choir and Tees Valley Youth Girls Choir also known as Showstoppers. We've got Tees Valley Youth Choir in there which I've took over about five years ago I think now and from within that we, we created Tees Valley Youth Chamber Choir which is a smaller group that goes off for private functions like weddings, birthdays, you name it, all sorts of events. The Youth Choir offers anybody who wants to sing, there's no audition or anything like that. 
anybody who wants to sing from year seven up to the end of college, so year 13. Don't let it pass you by if it's always something you've wanted to do. Come and see us. Oh,